May I stand, O Lord, in this holy place. May I worship Thee and behold Thy grace. May I be transformed in my word and Thy power and behold the day of thy power. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, what? Oh, okay. How are you today? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Fantastic. Pat? You just what? Ducky. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> well, everybody remember to set their clocks up. Well, not everybody, but somebody called me last night and said, did you? I said, oh. <laughs> Okay. So it's all good. Those that are supposed to be here will, are here now, and those that will run in in an hour. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But life goes on, you know, as we know. So let's open our service in a wonderful note by praying, as we always do. Just close your eyes for a moment. Dear God, we live in you. We move in you. And we have our being in you. Immersed in your presence, we are filled with new strength. You are the fountain of life ever flowing within each of us. Never depleted, always reserves in plenty for us to use. We rely on you, God. We accept your God-given miracle of life. And as we take this moment to become centered, our intention is to join our hearts and our minds together as God's love just flows in and through us. And we're grateful. Thank you, God. Calling off the names of those that we know that are in need of prayer right now. Reverend Larry, blessings. Zenobia, blessings. Lucille, blessings, yes. Blessings. Unity East Church, blessings. Marina, blessings. Armed Forces, blessings. The presidential candidates, blessings. Unity East Church, blessings. All those in our streaming family that are looking on, blessings. And so being still for a moment here and blessing ourselves, which is so important. Thank you, God, for me. Thank you, God, for me. We're releasing all any conditions that may be going on in our body temples, releasing that to you now for divine order and perfect healing. Divine order and perfect healing. Thank you, God. And we all say together, Amen. Wonderful. Turning in our hymnal to page 329. Aha. Uh -huh. Got enough? Larry Neva? You good? Yeah, everybody there. Yeah. What is the title saying? God is only good. So good. Does that make a difference? Ready? God. 
is so good. Emphasize that so. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. What does he do? He let me. He let me. God is so good. He's healed at me. What about blessings? He blesses me. He blesses me. God is so good. He blesses me. He's blessing, but we have to receive it. Wonderful. And as we stand and affirm our statement of being for this week, each week is different. The words may be the same, but we have a different meaning and feeling for them. Together, God is all, both visible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. This one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I am an individualized expression of God. I am ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. As we turn to the back of the bulletin, the purpose and mission statement together. The purpose of Unity East Church is to teach the universal principles of truth as taught and demonstrated by Jesus Christ and interpreted by unity. Our mission is to rediscover the guiding spirit of God's presence within us and willingly demonstrate his creative purpose in our lives. And on the front of the bulletin, together, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Holiness, yes, holiness. And our second hymn is on page 357. Miracles are happening. We're going to do it twice. I'm sweating here. Ready? Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard the good that God has for me. Let's start over. We are not together here. You are the miracle. Okay, so let's get in tune with the pianto. <laughs> Not the piano, the piano. Okay, together. I had not seen and ears had not heard the good that God has for me. Wonderful. My mind is now open, my heart is receptive, and miracles are happening to me. Oh. Miracles are happening, yes, miracles are happening, yes, miracles are happening to me. My mind is now open, my heart is receptive, and miracles are happening to me. Okay, I'll get it. 
<laughs> yeah, well, do it. We're going. We go. <laughs> you mean to wrap up the flow? <laughs> so let's start at the beginning here. What about eyes? Eyes that have seen and ears not not heard the good that God has for me. My mind is now open, my heart is receptive, and miracles are happening to me. Oh, miracles are happening, yes, miracles are happening, yes, miracles are happening to me. My mind is now open, my heart is receptive, and miracles are happening to me when right now <laughs> all right turn to your neighbor and give him a hug and say good morning miracle Let's see what's going on here this week. We are in the month of green, the month of March. The power is strength. So we'll, as I mentioned last week, we'll be talking about strength all a month. And the disciples, Andrew, and the color is what? Light green. Wonderful. And the physical location is in the loins. Strength right back here in the nape of your back. Let's affirm together what it means in here, the words of spirit. The spirit of God within me is the source of my strength. Strength is freedom from weakness. I am strong in spirit, mind, and body. What are you? I am blessed. Would you say that again? I am blessed. Yes, you are. Let's affirm our church affirmation with feeling together. Unity East Church is a dynamic, prosperous church that welcomes and supports its members and guests spiritually. To the best of my ability, I prayerfully support Unity East Church with my time, talent, and treasure to keep our church viable. And on the inside of the bulletin, what do we have going on here? Uh, on March the 18th, which is what, next Friday? Okay, we have a, that movie night, uh, dinner at six o'clock, $5 donation for the food, and 6.30 free movie. Uh, sign up in the bookstore so they'll know how much uh, food to get. Uh, Sunday, March the 20th, Unity, uh, what Unity teaches, uh, I will be facilitating that a little further so we can understand what unity teaches, okay? And that's next week after, uh, at 1145 to one o'clock. A new class, monthly drumming circle. All right, come on out, starting Thursday, April 7th, that's next month, uh, on Thursday from 1030 till 1130, one hour so you can come and wake up your day by beating out the rhythms of life. Yes, yes, yes. And there's good energy in that too. And relaxation and let it, releasing stress and all that good stuff. Uh, no experience necessary, just bring a drum. And if you don't have one, we have a few here. Nancy, you, you're... Okay, you get busy, huh? <laughs> you're not sorry. You're not sorry. Okay, now the question was, you have some drums for the drumming class. Oh, okay, wonderful, wonderful. $5 uh, suggested love offering 
um, and that goes for to this church. And please sign up in the bookstore so they'll know how much equipment to bring in. Choir rehearsal, uh, first Sunday, that was last week, every first Sunday. Um, Edgar Casey, second and fourth Sundays. And then, um, let's see, on Tuesday, we're still doing Teach Us to Pray. And we're slow walking this because it means so much. We've been praying a mist for a long time and not getting the results that we need. So we're looking at teaching us to pray. And then Tai Chi on Wednesday from 1 to 2, and then keep it true Lent that same day from 2.15 to 3.45. Okay, and Unity requires $2,000 per week in order to function. All right, and on the back of the bulletin, uh, we're all family here, so we don't need to sign up at the guest register. We know each other. Um, and please let us know if you are ill or in need of prayer or hospitalized, and we will come and be with you. Every day, in every way, I am better and better. For only God's good happens to me and through me. Yes, yes, yes. And as we affirm our invocation prayer, which is very sacred, together, we are now in the presence of pure being, immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. We acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom now, erase our mortal limitations and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation our world according to thy perfect law. Amen. And if you need or want prayer after the service, we have prayer facilitators that will meet you right here. Uh, powerful prayers. Okay, please keep bringing in your toiletry articles. Uh, no food or clothing, just toiletry clothing. Really? see people bringing in clothing. Okay, well, we'll work that out. Our prayer box is right across the hall there, so if you're in need of prayer or some friend or family member, please write it on our prayer sheet and then a request, and they will be prayed for here and then sent to the village for 32 more days of prayer. And if you need heavy prayer, call Unity Village and the number's at the bottom there. One. Now, I need someone who can come up quickly without even having read it and do the daily word. You're on your way. <laughs> it is called Protected. And let me get a microphone for you. Hmm? Yes. Turning around so we can see your beautiful face. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Dee. Today is Sunday, March the 13th, 2016. God is with me wherever I go, and I feel safe and secure. Yes. Children who are afraid of the dark seek reassurance from a parent or a loved one. Once the light is on and loving arms are enfolding them, they feel safe and secure. The time is true for us. When we feel surrounded by darkness, but there is no one to whom we can turn, we can seek then, find reassurance from the divine. God is there with us. God is always with us. The darkness of doubt is quickly dispelled by the all-illuminating light of God when we affirm the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us. God's light has the power to transform any challenge into an opportunity for growth. We know we have nothing to fear. Divine presence is with us and within us. Wherever we go, we are safe and secure. Who is a rock besides our God? Psalms 18, chapter 31. Uh, thank you. God is with us wherever we go. And 
And this is that magical time as we prepare for meditation, taking everything out of our laps and singing our Lord's Prayer, a wonderful prayer being prayed all over the world today and throughout the week also, but especially on Sunday. Our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy King This is just to start to relax the body temple. For we are going inside of ourselves into this marvelous universe within ourselves. Oh, thank you, God, for being with us through it all. We may not understand everything that's going on in our lives, but there is a divine order. It is not I, but the Christ within who does the work. And we say this morning, I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Songs of praise and prayer that awaken in us a deeper awareness of God's blessings of peace. Taking in another deep breath through your nostrils, holding it, and releasing it slower than the first. The healing light of love moves throughout our body temple from the top of our head to the bottoms of our feet. And in this quest to experience God's blessings more fully, let us center ourselves in the presence of God and become one with the melodies of praise in our hearts and minds. Breathe the life breath. During this sacred time, please, these melodies unite us with the chorus of praying friends all around the globe today. For we are all one in spirit. So let us now enter this prayerful time of meditation linked heart to heart in the holy presence of God. All the different religions and groups, 
praying and uplifting that Holy One, the presence of God that is all around us, all over the universe, and within us. And we're grateful. Thank you, God. For we are one with you, your holy presence of peace and of divine order. And in the stillness of God's holy presence, we feel a profound, profound spirit of peace that reaches to the depths of our soul. Breathe the life breath. This inner melody of peace calls to me strengthening me, soothing my spirit, soothing my spirit, and inviting me to relax in the security of God's loving presence. And as I release any concerns to God now, as I lovingly release any and all concerns to God now, I let them go because it's a God job. It's a God job. And I feel my oneness with God and I am assured that all is well. All is working and in divine order. Aware of this ever-expanding sense of peace, I open my heart to God and become still in God's presence right here, right now. Whatever's on your mind or on your heart, give it to God right now. Because we cannot work everything out on our own. We need that higher self within us to unite with the higher self of the universe, the higher self of all there is, God. So as we rest for a few moments in the peace, in the silence of this moment, we say thank you, God, for your loving kindness, loving and guiding direction that is for our highest good. Thank you, God. Thank you. In the silence. we come back to this place, space and time, feeling lighter and brighter, for we have just released and allowed the spirit of love to come into our lives at a deeper level, at a deeper level. And we say thank you. As we sing our congregational response, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord.
ready? Okay, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and Marina. <laughs> Wonderful. Ah. Where's Carol? all good. Tell her we miss her. <laughs> okay, my talk title today is Fountain of Life. Can you all picture in your mind a fountain? You've seen some type. What about Belle Isle? How many people have been to Belle Island? You remember that, that fountain? The fountain? Yeah, I've performed a couple weddings there at that fountain and been to some. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, they're on already?
Oh, wonderful. But for all those that have not been to Belle Isle, I'm sure you've been somewhere in life where you saw a fountain. I was in Brazil and they had a fountain. There are lots of fountains. And the, music, the water came up and danced to the music. It was gorgeous. I was just ecstatic. But anyway, a fountain. Right now, picture yourself as that fountain. Okay. All right. Now, for with thee, with thee is the fountain of life. And in thy light we do see light. Okay. Psalms, the 36th chapter, the ninth verse, says when you, when you seem to be lacking in strength, you will always have reserves of strength upon which to call. The vital life of God is strong within you. You do not create this life. It is already there already there waiting for you to call it forth. But as you open yourself to this ever-renewing flow of life and energy, you send a signal to your mind that you are now ready to accept God's miracle. Good morning, miracles. All right, name it, claim it. <laughs> Now Webster says a miracle is an event or action that apparently contradicts known scientific law. Are you not a miracle? Are we doing things and experiencing things that science is still trying to figure out and we're still trying to figure out too, but there's something within us that keeps us going. A remarkable thing, a miracle. Now the fifth, this is the fifth Sunday of the uh, at Lenten season, which we call a feast day, all the Sundays. And the word for today is overcoming. But yesterday's word on the 28th day of Lent shares with us the idea of miracle. And it was written by Reverend Barbara Hadley, and I'd like to share that with you. She says, I look for miracles in my life and see the kingdom of heaven made manifest. I look for them and I see. Sometimes I may be so preoccupied with schedules and routines and fail to notice God's activity in my life. And then something so wonderful and unexpected happens that it seems like a miracle. Because of the seemingly miraculous I shift my attention back to God in praise and gratitude. Now Jesus' miracles caused those around him to pay attention. See, he created these miracles to get the people's attention. Then he was able to teach them about the kingdom of heaven within them. Can you see that? They had to get their attention first before they got the news of who they are whose they are, and the miracle that they are. Because they were all still steeped in the old teaching, the Old Testament, Mosaic law. And Jesus came to usher in law and grace. Love and grace. So, I too can do amazing things because miracles are in alignment with divine law, divine law. A miracle is a manifestation of the gifts of God multiplied by gratitude and faith. Gratitude and faith. Now, an illness overcomes, an unexpected monetary gift shows up, a call from a long lost friend. These are all miracles. And she goes on to say, I look for miracles. And I look for miracles in my life and I see the kingdom of heaven made manifest. So what are you looking for? What are you seeing in your mind? You have marvelous imagination. So what are you, with that picture, essence within you, that gift of imagination, what are you seeing in your mind? I talked to my neighbor yesterday from, my, from the house of Detroit. 
She said, I filed my income tax and, and they, oh, I'm so worried, I'm worried. I to, and, and the lady put the wrong name on my income tax and, and, and just, it, it, I didn't get it yet. You know, but I, I'm so worried. I said, no, sweetheart, uh, no, 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 take a deep breath. Take the word worried out of your conversation. You are concerned about the situation, but use your marvelous imagination and see what you want. See the mailman bringing your check to your house in peace and in divine order. Never mind what everybody else or the government or whatever the lady that made the mistake with your name and other. Don't concentrate on that. Think about what you want in your life. Don't scatter your mind all over the place. Think of the peace. The mailman coming up there and putting your check in your mailbox, see yourself opening the door and being joyous to receive it. Can you see how we use our gifts rather than getting caught up in the situations going on in our lives? You have not because you ask not. See it. So a miracle is a manifestation of the gifts of God multiplied by gratitude and faith. 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 It's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. See it. Appreciate it. Have gratitude for it. Anyway, new strength comes to you as you think in terms of life. And as you positively affirm words of life and strength, and as you think of the life of God in you as a fountain ever flowing. So within, so without. So within, so without. The fountain is overflowing. What is it overflowing with? So within, so without. Do we have fear? Are we exuding a lot of fear? We're putting it out there. And where, who is it coming back to? The cinder. So change your thoughts and change your life. Change your thoughts and change your life. Now, your belief in the life and energy of God within releases life-giving forces powerful to heal every condition. Everything in you responds to the life idea. You spiritually comprehend that something is changing. You spiritually know that something is happening. As you pray, you feel new. God-given vitality and strength welling up within you. So what do you want going on inside of you? Divine order, divine order. When we say divine order, we're saying God order in whatever's going on, and it shall come to pass. Now, Genesis, the first chapter, 27th verse, shares with us, and then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule, which is having domain, dominion, over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over the livestock, and over the, over the earth, and all the creatures that move along the ground. Dominion, rule over. Now, what we're talking about, we think of these things as fish and birds and all that, but there's a metaphysical meaning to each one of these, and the birds of the the fish and the birds, they represent the thoughts that we have. And then the livestock and the, of the earth and the creatures that move along the ground, we're talking about our senses, be dom have dominion over all that. So the question is, might be, where do we start to take dominion? Where? Well, the answer might be right where you are. Makes sense. Got to start somewhere right where you are. So you begin in this moment to positively affirm, I can, and with God, I will. I can, and with God, I will. All of that's important. I can, which means you're going to take an action here. But with God, calling forth your higher senses and your higher self, the essence of God, I will. Now, it may be that when we pray for inspiration, for guidance, for healing, for peace, for prosperity, we are really praying for dominion. 
we phrase our prayer as a healing or as prosperity, but we are really praying for dominion over ill health and poverty. Can you see the difference? Dominion over ill health and poverty. We know that we were meant to take dominion because God gave it to us. God said in the beginning when he was creating everything, take dominion over these things. So beginning today, we will willingly accept the responsibility of conducting our lives intelligently, and we give prayerful consideration to the needs of our body, and we contribute to the peace of our home. We contribute to the peace of our nation, our workplace, our, our whole wonderful world and we draw on the limitless resource of limitless good, and we find that we have dominion over lesser things that would have bogged us down in the past. When we ask God for help and allow God to give us the divine ideas and divine strength that we need to go through an experience, we don't get all bent out of shape when something comes up to teach us a lesson. And when we get the lesson, we get the blessing. Then we can move on to a higher level of experience. Just as we grow in intellect in our mind, as we go through our years of schooling, because you know this is a planet of schooling here, we're in the school of life. Did we graduate yet? No. Are we in the first grade? fifth grade? Are we in middle school? Or? It begins on the day. <laughs> so are we in high school? We haven't got to college yet. So, Okay. <laughs> well, depends on the day and the experience. Thank you. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And as we allow, allow, let the Christ to take the reins of our life we are led into directions that provide mountaintop experiences and the vista views of daily life that we forget to remember that God is first. God said, put me first and I will lead, guide, and direct your path. Put me first and I will lead, guide, and direct your path. And as we allow that Christ to take the reins of our lives, we are led into directions that provide that mountaintop experience. So we do not cower down before negative influences of others or of ourselves. We can and we must rise higher. And we affirm that I can and with God's help, I will. It is Christ in us that gives us dominion over old destructive habits of our past. Does anyone still have old destructive habits of the past? Are you working with them or are they working with you? Are you aware of them that it's time to move to a higher level? Are you still, or do they still have you in the clutches of what was? You've been on a merry-go-round? What does a merry-go-round do? Go round and round and round and round. Does it go to the left sometimes? Or maybe to the right sometimes? Does it go forward? It goes round and round and round. And we may go from the giraffe to the hippo to the, <laughs> the different, the, the horse, the, whatever the animals are on. These are thoughts I'm talking about here. You know, but the thing is, until we change or give a different direction here, ask for the higher self to come in and redirect my life. What did it say here? I give the reins of my life to the Christ within within, within. That's why God said, I am imminent within you and transcended everywhere 
around you. So what is going on in your fountain? Get off the merry-go-round and go forward. You don't have to take big steps, just take one little step and then another little step and the next thing you know, you, you can look back and see the merry-go-round because you may not have even known you were on it. You may not even known that you were on it. But when you say yes to God's will, God says, I, if you say I can, and with God's help, you will overcome anything, thing, thing. So let us both make this day in which we feel tuned into the vital life of God, a day in which we feel renewed, a day in which we feel strengthened, a day in which we feel refreshed and restored. This is the day to tap into our reserve of strength from God. Call it forth. Call it forth. It is there waiting for you to take the key and open the door to it mentally and let that strength come forth. Let that understanding come forth. Because we don't know in our human mind everything. You know, so that's why we have to or should open the door by saying, yes, Lord, I can. And with your help, I will overcome whatever this is. So, but you must trust in the activity of God to flow through you as a fountain of life. A fountain of life. So as you affirm, I am wonderful today. I am at peace today. I am joyful today. I am glorious today. I give all, I give myself to you today, God, to work out anything that is going on in my life, whether I'm aware of it or not. I am, I am, I can, I will. Let my fountain just overflow with God's goodness. And then the peace comes in. And as the peace comes in and up and out, then the divine ideas, you're open and receptive to receive them and then move this merry-go-round or move from the merry-go-round forward in life. But you must trust in the activity of God to flow through you as a fountain of life. And you feel it from the top of your head to the very bottoms of your feet. The renewing, purifying help from the ever-creating activity, ever-creating, creating newness, activity of God, ever-revitalizing your entire being. And then Acts, the 17th chapter, the 28th verse, says, in him, we live, move, and have our being. And as God's fountain of life within us, we say, yes, thank you, God. Amen, and so it is. Good morning, fountains. <laughs> Wonderful. Hmm. Now is that wonderful time to give. And as we give, we know that we shall receive the goodness, the grace, the joy of God moving. I was talking to somebody the other day and said, ah, money doesn't mean anything to me. And I had the inspiration that money is God in action. Change your thoughts about money. You know, money is God in action. The more you have, the more, what's that expression? the more you can give, you know. And so we say, I have plenty, plenty, plenty of money, plenty to spare and plenty to share. I have plenty, plenty, plenty of money. I have plenty to spare and plenty to share. Now, if you've got something to spare, you are loaded, okay? You know, and it's all good because money is God in action. And they say, well, I never thought about that. I said, I don't need no money. Oh, money's the root of evil. No. No, 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 it's the thought, your thoughts about it and what people do to get it. But money is God in action. So as we give lovingly, what does that do? Send back to us lovingly. Okay, hey, it's all good. So let's take our uh, love offerings. I'll finish my check in a minute. 
that's the whole checkbook. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's affirm our the statement. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Amen, amen, amen. All right, let me finish my little check here. All right, wonderful. Got plenty, plenty, plenty. Can we pray over people in this choir singers? I got to flap my arms a little bit here and I want to make sure you have my offering. Yeah. <laughs> Father, Mother, God, what am I eating? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Whatever it is. Father, Mother, God, we thank you for this opportunity to give today, to receive, and to be a part of your blessings, your miracles in us and through us because we are the miracles. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And bless everyone that has given and those that may not have had it to give, we bless them as we see them being prospered now. Because it's always now. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right, choir, what do we have here? Just medley. A medley. So now if you know some of the songs, please join in, okay? Because this is our church, our choir, and our song. Ready? Pray. I'm so glad they pray. I'm so glad they pray for me. My minister prays. 
So we can stand and sing our peace song. But we have to form a circle. <laughs> so we have to move around. We got most of the people over here. Come on up. Come on around. <laughs> Come on over and every which way. We got, we're top heavy over here. <laughs> Okay. Now we're on earth. Be done with me. <laughs> now there is peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be with God as Creator. Family of our we Now we walk with each other, yes, in perfect harmony. Now peace begins with me, and this is the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joy is to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally now there is peace on earth and it has Thank you, God, for this glorious day. And we just know that you go before us and make easy, smooth, successful, and joyous our way as we leave this sacred sanctuary to go out into our lives, being blessed because we are a fountain of strength, a fountain of love, a fountain of peace, a fountain of joy, so within, so without. So let that love just flow. And we say together, 
The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. For wherever we are, God is, and all is well. Now hug somebody. Oh, <laughs>